All right, everyone. It is graduation day for the chicks, and it's kind of by default because I almost wanted to keep them in there a couple more days because today is Wednesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all thunderstorms or partial thunderstorms. So I wanted to keep them in there, but it's hot out, and we just had a little chick escape, and I, he was I had to go chase a chicken right now. And I said, okay, it's time for them to, to, to graduate to pasture. It's not gonna be super rainy. It's gonna be in the 80s even when it is raining. So I'm not too worried about it. And uh, so, yeah, time to go move the chicks. It was one of these little guys that got out on me. He just saw him walking outside around the shed. So I put him in here and he's gonna be the first one to move along with a friend. So let's get a couple more. Okay. Well, that is the first 20. There's gonna be 32 more in here, because we have 104, and 52 in there. So, here we go. There we go. Now they're all gonna rush to it. It's crazy. Probably give them a little bit more than that. But now that's only half the burdens each in each. Well, that is a 100% success rate. We have 52 in this one, 52 in that one. After after three weeks in the brooder, I lost zero, absolutely zero Cornish cross chicks. And I'm pretty sure I know the reason why too. Look at these little guys. Completely safe from predators in here. They're gonna be moved that way. Of course, the grass is gonna get cut because trying to move these guys through that will be absolutely impossible. But, yeah, they're looking good. Chicken's the way that they're supposed to be, out in the field, out in grass, out to where they can breathe and not have to smell ammonia all their life. I mean, it's really something. Look, there's a bug right there. I don't know if you can see it. If that guy goes down there, those velociraptors are gonna tear him to shreds. They are absolutely gonna tear him to shreds. Look at this. It's so pretty too. Chickens on grass. Who would have thought that chickens on grass was such like a, like a weird idea? You know, it is pretty cool because I've been learning about these pastured chickens now for two and a half, three years, and to finally put a chicken on grass, that's pretty cool, even though I am sweaty as you can be. It is humid, it is hot, and it is, it's hot. And I don't do well in humidity, but you know what? It's okay, I only have to do it for a little bit. And uh, you know, should I have moved them at three, four o'clock in the afternoon? Uh, probably not. <laughs>
Well, right there is the first move of the chickens of their lifetime, which is pretty cool. Wasn't that hard? A lot easier going downhill than uphill with the chicken tractors. And now they have 34 more to go. So by the time I move them every day, they'll probably hit the fence over there by my calculations on Google Earth with the lines and everything. But yeah, here, let's take a look at the ground. So this is where they were, and I can't believe the amount of chicken poop there is. Chicken manure, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's crazy. See, right here, look like that. And basically every seed head that was on the grass is now just demolished. And it's been trampled and pooped on, and oh my gosh. I didn't know how, how dirty and how destructive these birds are, but that's why you move them every day. Imagine if they sat on here for a week. This is like, okay, technically it's probably like 30 hours because I didn't really count the first day because it's so late. But look at this. And they're tiny now. Imagine when they get bigger. Oh my gosh. Look, look at that. Here, you can totally see where they were. It's insane. Now let's look in here. Here they are. They're already eaten. They're already munching away. Now this little chicken tractor gr group here caused me a bunch of headaches yesterday. Why? Because they got out. Don't underestimate the power of a little baby chicken, okay? I didn't know that there was like a little crack, probably, it was probably only about this big. And because the grass is so long, it kind of covered it up. And they got out, okay? So I came over here, I thought it was the lid. I didn't know what was up, but I thought it was the lid. So I came put stuff on it to where they can't really push it up or I thought there was another little crack on the, the back side and I kind of plugged it up. But I come out here again, and there's 17 of them, actually 18 of them out. 18 of them out, I'm going, are you kidding me? I thought this is a disaster. I'm like, how, how am I gonna keep these guys in? I don't know how they're getting out. So I'm running around collecting chickens and putting them back in there. I'm pretty sure I got all of them. You know, I did a rough count, but they're all moving around and everything. So I'm like, I would say 95% sure I got all of them. But while I'm collecting, but while I'm collecting the chickens, two more get out and I went, "Oh, okay, there's the hole." So now I have little like scraps of wood when I'm uh, from when I was building it like this, and I'm shoving it underneath the holes. On this one over here, there's not there's there's nowhere they can get on this one today. But on this one here, they can get out right there. You can see where I plugged it up. Now that's the one thing about these is that they can get out if they, see look right, right there with my shoes disappearing. They can technically get out if I don't plug it up and make sure it's all nice and tight, especially when they're this small. But you know, they're, they're real happy on the fresh grass. They're over there scratching, pecking away. And I'm gonna come back, check on them in a little while, just fed them. And uh, tomorrow, the ground will probably end up looking something like this. But in about a week or two, because we have some serious rain coming in this weekend, it should be the best grass in here. Look at this. Look. They just destroyed it. I mean, wow. Chicken poop on chicken poop on chicken poop. Look, ugh. Kind of gross, but wow. A little bit later now, these guys... Doing pretty good. You see, starting to eat more stuff. <laughs> they knocked that down pretty good. And yeah, they're really going to town. All happy, all healthy on grass. Well, that's it for this one. The chickens are moved out to pasture. They got their first move. You saw a little bit about them. What do you think about them? They're cute still, but they're, they're still adorable. ugly. Adorable. No, they're I perfect. Think they're ugly. They're perfect. I think they're ugly now. <laughs> After after like a week and a half, they became ugly because then they're pooping in everywhere and nah, they love their peach fuzz. He calls them velociraptors. Yeah, they're my <laughs> velociraptors. They're pretty cool. Well, that's it for this one. Hit the subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell, drop a comment to help the YouTube algorithm, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.